Hi there, it's Debbie. Thanks for tuning in and watching my latest video. Um, this one's going to be a little bit different. It's not a Fobonichi flip through. This is a um, look at all of my watercolors. Somebody asked me for an in-depth look at my watercolors and I don't think they knew what they were in for because I have a lot of watercolors. So if you're not interested in just looking at a bunch of different um, pans of watercolor, then I suggest skipping this video. Otherwise, here we go. <clears throat> so uh, this is one of the first sets that I ever bought. It's the Koi Watercolors um, Pocket Field Sketch Box. And um, I got this off Amazon. And it's a nice little set, um, nice portable little set. It's got all these colors and it comes with a water brush, which I've since lost, and these little sponges that you can use to clean off your brush, and this little palette that you can um, mix your colors up on. So this is one of the first ones that I ever bought and um, one of the first ones that I ever played with. So it's a, it's a nice little set. I don't use it anymore though because I've got um, some more expensive watercolors that I use all the time. So coming in next is this um, Ganzai Tambi set. And um, I got this off Amazon as well. I don't know if all that is showing. This is a really nice set too. These are really pretty colors. If you can see them over here, and they're real nice size pans. Um, see if I can get one out. Yeah, you can see how big that is. That's a real nice size. And they've got a number on the back of them. So if you ever run out of one, like I've used a lot of this one and this one, um, you can order them individually. Uh, a lot of um, beginning watercolor classes I've taken, they've recommended this set. So again, you can get this off Amazon. If I can find the links to them, I'll link them down below at the end of the video. And then I have a ton of these sets. I bought these when they were all coming out. The Prima watercolors, the Jane Davenport watercolors. There's just so many of them. Um, I'm not going to go through them all. I'll just pile them up here so that you can see that I've got them. These are Jane Davenport um, Prima watercolor confections. These are shimmering lights. They're really nice. Um, this is the complexion one. I'll open this one because a lot of you may not have seen it. Um, this is for um, drawing faces or painting faces. So there's all the different colors for doing complexions. It's a nice set, although I don't know what you'd use this pink one on. I don't know. Maybe somebody who's sunburned or something. So that's a nice little set there. Um, there's more, <laughs> believe it or not. This is the Pastel Dreams. That's the, all those colors. They're really nice. This is another one of the newer sets, Woodlands. Um, more um, earth tone colors. Another new set, Essence. I haven't used these very much. I don't know why I bought them. In fact, I'm probably going to um, sell them. They're just slightly used, so I'm probably going to put them up for sale. And then this is the last one of those um, Decadent Pies, the Prima Watercolor Confections. So there's all those. And now to get into the watercolors that I do use. Okay, this is the um, a set of 48 colors. It's from a, a company called Mungyo. And I got this off Amazon. I had seen James Burke do a review of it, and he said it was a pretty good beginner set. So um, I was beginning to take a watercolor class and was looking for um, something that had a good selection of colors. So I went ahead and I bought this. And even my art teacher said that it was a nice set. So you can see all the different colors that are in there. Only thing I don't like is it doesn't have sepia in here and I use sepia a lot when I'm mixing colors but um, it's got a nice selection of yellows and and greens a lot of greens um, a lot of blues and then these pretty pinks and reds over here so this is a nice set I use it um, you can see that I think you can see that a lot of the colors have been used a lot um, I use the gray the most because some of my other sets don't have gray in them so that's the Mungyo set and again I found this on Amazon Next is my, um, this is my set that has the um, Windsor and & Newton and um, Daniel Smith colors in it, and it's a mix of them. 
Um, this is one of the ones that I use the most, as you can see, some of these are coming pretty empty. And these, I bought this empty box. It's called Meaden Watercolor. It's an empty box that comes with the empty pans. I bought it off of Amazon. I buy almost everything on Amazon. And I bought the um, tubes of watercolors separate. Let me see if I can find some. There's some tubes of watercolor. So what you do is, um, well, this is a core, but you just buy the tube of them and um, you just fill it and until it's up to the top pretty close and then you just let it dry for a couple of days before you close up the, the palette. And um, that's how I buy them. And it works really well and they're refillable. So I can go over the colors if, um, you know, you don't think that it's too boring. So this is sepia, which again, I mentioned that um, I use this a lot for mixing. This is um, Daniel Smith Buff Titanium. This is a good color for um, like sand, uh, beach sand or something like that. This is um, Winsor Newton Manganese Brown. This is Winsor Newton Raw Umber. This is Burnt Umber, Burnt Sienna, and I'm following along up here too. Um, Quinacridone Gold, Raw Sienna, Yellow Ochre Light, Cadmium Yellow, Bronzite Genuine, New Gamboge, and Tiger's Eye. Uh, Hooker's Green, which is a very common green color that you can find in almost all brands. Terra Verde, Olive Green, I use this one a lot. It's a nice um, kind of earthy shade of green. Undersea Green, which is a nice darker shade of green. Green Gold is nice for um, when you want to add just a touch of brightness. Serpentine Genuine, Cascade Green, Cobalt Turquoise, Cobalt Turquoise Light, Cobalt Teal Blue, I don't know how to say this, Thalo Turquoise, Mayan Blue Genuine, and Potter's Pink. Then this last row is Alzarian Crimson, Sanguine Red, Cadmium Red, Red Fuchsite Genuine. All the ones in, well, no, not all the ones in this row are Daniel Smith. It's still a mix of them. Quinacridone Coral, Rhodonite Genuine, Rose Matter, Rose of Ultramarine. This is a really pretty color. That's this one right here. Um, I really like using this. Quin Magenta, Permanent Magenta, Permanent Mauve, Ultramarine Violet, and cobalt violet. Lots of nice pinks and purples in that row. Ultramarine, indigo, cerulean blue, manganese blue hue, uh, small Dumont's blue, ultramarine blue, phalo blue, the green shade, phalo blue red shade, lavender, Wisteria. These are two some of the newer um, Daniel Smith colors that they just came out with. Quinn Purple, Moon Glow, and Amethyst Genuine. So that's my mix of Daniel Smith and Windsor and Newton colors. And then the other palette that I use almost as much as that, I mix between the two. These are my core watercolors, Q-O-R. And um, they have, they're well known because they have a different binding agent that they use for their um, watercolors. Uh, I forget what it is, but it's, um, nobody else uses it. So um, I personally can't tell a difference in them between the core and the Winsor Newton and Daniel Smith watercolors, but I haven't been using watercolors that long and you know, I'm no expert, so I really don't know. Um, but I do like them and they come with some really pretty colors. So I'll go over these colors too. Titanium white, which I never use. A neutral tint, which is more like a gray or can um, tend towards black if you use it um, real heavy. Payne's gray, raw umber, Van Dyke brown, trans brown oxide. Um, here's raw umber again. I accidentally bought two of them and put them both in here. Burnt sienna, raw sienna, quinacridone gold, yellow ochre, Permanent Gamboge, 
Indian yellow. Uh, this one is Diary Light Yellow, Naples Yellow, Nickel Azo Yellow. It looks green here, but it comes out as a as a yellow. Cadmium Yellow Primrose, Pyro Orange, Cadmium Red Medium, Permanent Scarlet, Permanent Alzarian Crimson, Venetian Red, Pyro Red Medium, Quin Crimson. Quinn Red, Cadmium Orange. I don't use oranges a lot. In fact, I'm sure I haven't even used that at all. Quinn Magenta, this is a pretty color. There it is right there. Dioxazine Purple, Ultramarine Blue, Cerulean Blue Chromium, Phthalo Blue Green Shade, Indigo, Manganese Blue, Prussian Blue, Quinn Violet, Ultramarine Pink, Sepia, Cobalt Turquoise, Thalo Turquoise, Cobalt Teal, Viridian Green, Sap Green, Green Gold, Cobalt Green, Olive Green, Bohemian Green Earth, Phalo Green Blue, Chromium Oxide Green, Permanent Green Light, Hooker's Green, and Andoy's Gray. So that's it. Those are all the ones that... Um, I use almost every day in my um, Fobonichi between this and the Windsor and Newton and Daniel Smith ones. So um, if you all have any questions, just go ahead and write something in the comments. Um, if you want me to show like some bigger samples of the colors or anything like that, you want to see more what they look like. Oh, um, well, I can't get to it. You can buy this sheet of the Daniel Smith colors off of Amazon and they look like this but it's it's a bigger it's a bigger sheet of paper it's an eight and a half by eleven and they give you a little dot of the color of all 280 of his colors and all you do is you wet a water brush and um, pick up the color and there's a lot here believe it or not you can really get a lot done with um, how much paint they put on these but um, look on Amazon or um, Jerry's Artorama or Dick Blick or something like that for the um, the sample sheets and you can get these and try out the different colors before you invest in them because they're pretty pricey. So um, that's something that I did and I refer back to that when I'm looking for um, colors that I might want to buy. Anyways, that's about it for, for this video. I thank you all for taking the time to watch it and leave me any comments and um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.